Hey folks, this is my ultra quick little overview of how you can make intro videos just like the one you saw on mine. First, you're in Keynote, break up all of the individual parts. You can see I've got the FIL, the TRED, the INFO, then I've got my two dots, and then I've got this text right here down at the bottom. Make everything individual that you want to use any type of transition on. Next, go into the info palette. Here you can see all of the information. Right here at the bottom, you're going to see more options. That will expand this drawer that you see right there. For every individual object that you have in Keynote, you can do something to that object, both in and out. You can see the build in right here. You can see the build out right there. Of course, you can select from all of your different transitions. All of those transitions can have a duration, and you can combine them together. Here's how the little indicators work. If there is nothing here, to the left of the of the string or the object name then that will happen automatically if there is this black little dot or the bullet that means that user interaction is going to have to happen meaning you'll hit the spacebar or do whatever if you've got this little indicator right here it means that all of these are connected to the item above it because they're all indented how do you access those well, you can see you can select one or you can select multiple i held down shift and you can see right here that is automatically after prior build or automatically with build. The difference being if you want them to cascade one then the next then the next then the next that would be after so this this one would be after this one this one would be after this one etc otherwise if you select multiple then you're going to choose with build so whatever the previous one is everything underneath it will build after that doing that you can get an awesome effect and in the next video I will show you how to add sound the last thing you have on this video is how do you get it out super easy go up to the file choose export when you get the export dialog what you're going to want to do is after you've set all of your timings you want to choose fixed timing choose fixed timing format you're going to want full quality make sure that your video size is the exact same size of the canvas that you set I set 960 by 600 and you can also change the frames per second if you want within here going to custom if it's just for web video then you really only need 10 frames per second at the most slide duration you might want to bump this down say one second build duration two seconds click next it's going to prompt you for where you want that movie to go and guess what you then have your transition ready to take into GarageBand